All right, so um, I kind of wanted to go through um, the marketing module um, in Kaivio. So um, we can all agree that the user interface is a bit clunky, right? Um, we get it. So <laughs> there's other software developers, uh, as well as myself, that are not like thinking this is the best um, dashboard ever, um, the buttons, things, but does it work? Um, and yes, it does, right? So I've sent out a few emails or whatever, but what I wanted to do was kind of talk about what's possible. Um, a lot of times uh, among the community of, of app users out there right now, um, we're all looking for a mail shake type uh, thing. So let's let's talk about mail shake really quick. Um, so what is Mailshake able to do? Um, and it does have some cool capabilities, right? So um, it allows you to add your own mail accounts as well as aliases from uh, other, like if you have aliases inside your Gmail, you're actually able to add, add that inside of your account. And Kaivio does that, okay? Um, you can add team members in and Kaivio does that. And um, when you do have a campaign, right, um, you're able to um, name your campaign, obviously. And so you have your, your recipients that you can upload through a CSV file. So Kavio does that as well, right? So if you are in your list uh, manager here <clears throat> and you once you create a list or whatever and you want to bring in subscribers, Let's just say here, if you want to bring in subscribers, you can. Again, it doesn't look as slick as, but here's your import subscribers button right here, and you can use a CSV, right? So um, that's next. All right, so let's just add <clears throat> myself. And so then you're able to um, compose um, emails, right? Now, again, this is a really slick interface. So you're able to compose emails. And so let's just uh, test email to uh, Sunny. Okay. And you can also say that I want to insert uh, the first name or last name, right? So you can say the fallback text would be a friend okay and you could insert that and so you say hey first name and then you have the 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 fallback would be friend right there right um you do have the ability to do the same thing here in um uh Kaibio. so if you were to uh, uh want to make an email or whatever right so let's go to broadcast now I don't think that you can do a um, fallback. I don't. I don't remember seeing that. Okay, so but you can add your list. Okay, and um, there's no segment. We'll get to segments in a minute, right? Um, and so here it is. So your email signature, which you can fill out, or you can add in personalization right here. So describe his first name, last name, site URL, email signature, business address. So you have the same capabilities, right? And so now you want to have the ability to add a follow-up email or add a drip campaign. And so here um, is what, you know, what we call sequences here. So you can add a new sequence, right? And add a sequence campaign. So you do have the ability to do these things, right? And so um, next you can um, uh, demo subjects. Okay, so next... Um, they're going to ask you to preview it or whatever. So, and then you can track your opens, you can track your uh, link clicks, and you can schedule schedule the send, right? And so, again, over here, <clears throat> you can do the same thing, right? And so, you can, it's going to automatically track opens, clicks, unsubscribes, and whether they received it or not, right? Um, and you go next. And then it would be to sync and send, right? Um, where you're gonna send it to, blah, 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 right? So then you're gonna go back here 
and you're going to have your sent, your replies, your opens, and your bounces. Now, here's where um, you're not going to you're not going to get your replies here, and it's not going to it's going to sync your replies in Kaivio. Okay, so that's one thing that doesn't happen. Now, your lead catcher is people that do reply. It will send leads over here. Okay, so there's something else. But again, this is a lifetime deal. This is $20 a month, okay? And you do have a sending calendar here. Um, and that's pretty much it, right? Um, now, here, I wanted to show you where you have um, your list manager where you can reply. First of all, you can resend, which is really important. Now, if you have a resend here, like say automatically to say that resend people to this email for people that that didn't open this and then you just you know i usually put re and then you know a new subject right or the same subject that you had before okay and then you resend that out right which is really cool um but if you go to your list manager i want to show you how you can segment okay and say i want to send out if they you know the they clicked or if they opened uh if they opened or didn't open it if they clicked or didn't click so you can say that um if they opened it this email right and then but they didn't click send them another email right so that's really easy to go through and say okay i want to just pick out these people um, that opened my email, but they didn't click or they did click and and they did open, but they haven't replied So on and so forth, right? So um, If you haven't gotten any information from these people or whatever, so you could easily replace Mail shake for cold outreach using Kyvio. I agree. The user interface is not the greatest user interface Mail shake is sexy. It's a nice tool. I get that but if you don't want to spend $20 a month, I don't think there's anything wrong with this. Now, of course, AWeber and MailChimp and things like that will have more functionality for you. But this is pretty basic and easy to use for your first email marketing um, experience, I think, right? When you start to get further on in your, your career, when you start to get further along in your business, when things start getting a little bit more complicated, you want to plug a few more leaks, this Kyvio will not work for you. But that's not the point of this software, is it? The point of this this deal, this lifetime deal that you can get, is for businesses that are just starting out to not have to be concerned about expenses and go about the business of working on their business, right? And so for $49, I honestly think that this is a really good um option i really do i just wanted to walk through this if i had to say that there was something that what really made this thing shine it's the email marketing module right so um i've already set up mailgun spark post and amazon ses which i really like um and you can test um from here which was really cool <clears throat> you can add in headers right and you can google that on how to add in headers but um they have keys and different values or whatever to make sure that um, you are a little bit more um, uh, credible in your delivery. And then um, you have to add your address on everything by the can Spam Act or whatever. You can also black uh, blackmail emails, uh, people blacklist emails of people that have been purchasing from you or maybe uh, fraudulent purchases or spamming you or whatever. And then you just have an automatic say, I don't want these amount, these kind of people to sign up for me. Anybody with, you know, at billing or admin or, you know, um, basically um, webmasters or whatever. So you can, you know, block those emails. Personally, like I said, again, I, I am 100% in this UI sucks, right? And that's cool. But we're talking about somebody uh, that is brand new in business or, um, you know, you're a bootstrapped uh, um, company and you want to keep your monthly expenses down, which is what I did my first couple years in business. Now I, I spend a lot more money on software. Um and I will spend monthly, like you see, I spend monthly on this, right? Because I, I want um, to be able to, you know, use certain softwares and I have a certain 
after a while, you get to a point where you say, hey, listen, it's not worth me, you know, using a workaround. It's taking me too long for the workaround and I just need to get shit done. You'll reach that point. And when you reach that point, that's when Kyvio probably won't be good for you. But for right now, if you're brand new in the business and you don't want to pay AWeber and you don't want to pay uh, MailChamp and you don't want to pay Active Campaign and you just want to have a few thousand, you know, buy three or four of these deals, right? So you can have five four or five thousand subscribers for a lifetime you can add just go through your list right which is really cool with your list manager right so you can say here um to to call your list you need to call your list right you need to have uh, a list well there's a list cleanup tool right here right so you select the action so move or delete or export the person if they haven't opened or clicked not opened or whatever, or if they haven't, conf uh, you know, confirmed. Um, if they have no recorded activity at all, if you've had bounced email, spam complaints or whatever, unsubscribed, you clean your list, right? And so you might have 2,000 people on your list, but a lot of people haven't opened, right? And this is a really good tool right here, a list cleanup tool. I, didn't, I just saw that going through this video. This is awesome, right? So you want to call your list, right? And so you'll move 500 people off your list. So just export in a CSV. Um, and then start another list with that list and do a, um, a re-engagement campaign. Just Google that, do a re-engagement campaign, see if you can get people re-engaged. And if you can't, then you just erase that list. And the people that you did get re-engaged, set your automations to move them back to your main list, right? So, um, you do have what they call, uh, email health, right? And I think this is a really good tool. This has a lot more um functions than a lot of tools out there um you know that people are selling right now this is a pretty good start for email marketing right so you do have a mail shake um for your cold outreach if you're doing outreach so you can get more clients for your social media marketing agency or your consulting firm or if you just want to use this for regular email marketing for um, um products or your your um funnels or whatever this is a really good, you know, they have opt-in forms. So, um, but, and also another really good thing that I like was that you can just use a HTML thing, right? So if you have something like Thrivecart or if you're using Thrive Leads, you could just copy and paste the HTML form here and put it right into Thrive Leads and everything will work fine. So you can collect your leads. You can collect your leads from, uh, they will have Zapier in, um, February and you can ask for it now early access I believe so you can collect your leads from let's just say if you have landing eye and you want to collect your leads you can collect your leads from anywhere at that point and Zapier will put them here for you right um, I don't see any reason why you couldn't use this for your email marketing again it's not the best um, it's not the fastest you can see it's a little bit slow right so it's not the fastest or whatever but um, for getting started, I think this is really good, right? And being able to use your own SMTP is good, so you can get uh, get good deliver uh, deliverability, and um, you know you can set up your own email templates. It has HTML and all the bells and whistles like every other email uh, marketing. Uh, software out there. So that's been my little review and walkthrough of Kyvio and how you could replace MailShake for cold outreach or uh, something as simple and, you know, like MailChimp. MailChimp does a lot of stuff now, don't get me wrong, but in the beginning, you're not going to need all that extra uh, automations and functionality because you just don't know about it yet, right? As your business grows, as your knowledge grows, you'll outgrow this naturally, but by that time, you'll be making enough money to pay for a better solution.